In Romania, when I did the down payment for my house, I went to the bank with the bricks, the stacks of cash, and I put them on the counter and I go... Doo, doo, doo. And they're looking at me as if I'm a person that descended from the jungle. They're all bewildered by the fact that I'm having cash. So they're asking, it's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm paying. In cash? Yes. You can't do that. Why not? It has to actually go into your account first, and then you got to wire it from your account to the other so that the politician knows what you have done with the money. So that the police knows what you do with the money. Can you imagine like the politician or the police not knowing how you spend your cash? Like that would be anarchy. In what type of society could we live in if the politician is unaware of what you are doing with your wealth? And I'm like, okay, you know, but I thought that is bad. But then I saw this TikTok video from Canada and things are getting a little bit more interesting. So, I can't, well, wait, I don't understand, what are you talking about? So, I will either give you a bank draft, or if you're gonna get cash, I will need an invoice for the car purchase. Why? No, I'd like to, it's for, if the car's payment's for in cash, I, I can't, I can't use a bank draft. Are you buying from like a private Yeah, it's private. Person? It's literally from my friend. From your friend? Yeah, but he wants it in cash. Can he give you like anything, say, when you purchase it from him? No, I don't. You don't need that, I, bro. What is it? I'm only asking for three. What? What is this? I, I, it's my money. I'm allowed to withdraw from my own bank account. He said that. What's the maximum limit you can give a withdrawal to a customer? It's three thousand dollars on the date. You've already mentioned that multiple times. Yeah, not today. Why not today? Today I would need a bank draft. Or we get an invoice. But why? You don't. So you need proof of what it is. Why is that? And why is that? Why is that? Why do you need? Why do you need me to tell you what it is? Why do you need? What kind of proof is that? I bring it. Maybe the man just wants to pay some hookers. Maybe he wants to pay some prostitutes like politicians. He has to, to tell the bank, right? It's, it's not just that the politician must know. It's not just that the police officer must know. It's not just that the IRS must know. But now the bank needs to know as well. How important are we as people that literally everyone needs to know when we go and buy a prostitute? And I'm even kidding, I, it's probably not even prostitution. But but it's like, if, if your friend has a PlayStation 5 account and he wants to sell it to you, now you need to be like, well, dear friend of mine, can you please give me an invoice? Because I need to go to the bank and withdraw my personal cash and, and justify to them what I'm doing. Because they're, they're actually concerned I might buy some Japanese games or something. I might spend it on hentai. They don't like that. Mastercard doesn't like the L side. I, I, I need to actually show it to them that, that I'm using it for, for what the bank allows me to buy. And this is uh, happening in Australia as well. Uh, it's happening in Britain as well. Like There are banks that do not work with cash anymore. Now, of course, the solution seems to be simple. Hey, you know, like, I'm just going to close down my account. Okay. You can close down your account, and I'm pretty sure that in that situation, they may give you the cash. Um, and I assume that if you constantly close your account from bank to bank, eventually they may just refuse to allow you to open one. Because <clears throat> they're a private business, right? A private business can do whatever they want, except for you. You're a private citizen. You can't do whatever you want. And... Uh, what if the other bank does the same? Because usually they do not pull stuff like this unless they're sure that everyone else pulls stuff like this. They're not retarded. Like they know that they're going to upset customers and they know that customers are going to go to other banks. So probably what they're relying on is the fact that the other banks operate in a similar manner. So you don't really have a choice. The choice is robbed from you. It doesn't matter if it's a monopoly or if you have 2,000 banks and they all have the same business practices. But I, I guess like this is one of the way that uh, they're forcing people to become cashless. It's like, okay, well, you want to get cash. I assume that the reason the man is at a bank is because the ATM in his area are either out of order or they don't exist. So if they don't stock the ATMs with cash, then the only way you can get some is to go into the bank. And when you go into the bank, they ask you, okay, well, uh, what do you need the cash for? 
And if you don't give them an invoice, if you don't give them a reason, they can choose not to give you your own money. Funnily enough, most people don't even read the terms of service. Because this is uh, the, the thing that I spoke with the lady <clears throat> when I went uh, to give my down payment. Uh, she asked me, it's like, why don't you keep the money in the bank? And I'm like, okay, according to your terms of service, if I keep them in the bank, are they still my money? And she smiles because she knows. Interesting. But imagine a scenario where if you get a job, like if you want to work at Amazon or you want to work in construction or you want to work as a trucker or, you know, you're the average Joe that just wants to have a job. The company will tell you, um, what is your bank account? And you have to give them one because they're not going to give you cash because they don't have cash either. So they will just go like, OK, give me your bank account so I can wire you the money. Because I hear a lot of people say, well, you need to go crypto. Great. I mean, sure. But is your employer paying you in crypto? Because if it's not paying you in crypto, then they're going to pay you in cash. And if you want to get cash, you need to have a bank account. And if you want to have a bank account, you got to deal with this shit. So theoretically, you know, it's your money. Yeah, but like you can't withdraw it. And as we saw what happened in the UK with uh, Nigel Farage, the bank can just say, oh, due to violation of TOS, we don't want to work with you. So imagine a scenario where you can't even be a beggar. You can't even beg because if you don't have a bank account, how can you get money in a cashless society? It's really easy to control people uh, this way. There is uh, a light at the end of the tunnel, though. Like this is what I've heard from my sources is that politicians don't really like this because politicians want to take bribes as well. In the United States, a bribe is called lobbying. So it's kind of legal. They give you receipts for that. So like cashless society in the U.S. can work. But in Europe, especially the European Union, they, they need to, you know, if they want to take a bribe, they need to get it in cash. So they don't really like it. Uh, Sweden was a hilarious case because in Sweden, uh, they, they almost went cashless as a society. Almost. It was the society that had like the, the highest rate of cashlessness in the world. And all of a sudden, they're backtracking and they're saying, well, it kind of negatively impacts the minorities and the disparaged ones and people that don't have access to the Internet. Um, we we don't want to, to actually hurt those people. So we're going to start backtracking a little bit. I was laughing my ass off because I'm a little bit more cynical. I, I don't think that the politicians give a shit about the dispa the, the, the minorities and what I know. They, they're probably upset. It's like, oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like if, if everyone has their financial transactions tasked, uh, tracked, we are part of that everyone. So we're being tracked as well. Not good. So it's kind of funny to see how they're backtracking in order to save face. Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.